Hello Gemini, today I'm going to be doing your love reading. I'm gonna be doing a past, present, and future spread. I'm gonna do something a little bit different for my readings this time around. Um, I've pre-shuffled the Oracle card decks, so all I'm gonna do on camera is um, maybe um, split the deck and then choose one card of each for the main energies. And then I will be using a brand new deck and a clarifying deck. Um, so. For anybody that's new to my channel, thank you so much for checking out this video. Everybody else who's a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel. I appreciate all of your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I read all of your comments, so thank you. This message will be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it will not resonate with every Gemini watching, so just keep that in mind. Check your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Um, the situation that I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. So keep that in mind as well, and roles can be reversed. So I could be talking about you or the other person. So let's start with this Oracle deck here. I'm just going to split it like I said. I'm going to pick the first card there. Coming apart. Alright, so this could be energy for you or the other person. We will see with the tarot, what this is all about here with coming apart. Blessed. Love that energy. So something coming apart, I feel like was a blessing, Gemini. Um, we will see what that's all about. Bottom of the deck is higher power. Just felt like looking at that. So today I'm going to be laying down the cards first with my tarot deck so i'm just going to shuffle these a few times and then i'm going to get into it spirit messages for gemini please in regards to love messages for gemini in regards to love what's going on in gemini's love life we're we doing a past present future spread like i said so i'm just going to lay the cards down and then i'll clarify with this beautiful new deck that i've been playing around with um i just love these using these two decks together so See how this goes for Gemini. All right, starting with you, Gemini, with the lovers. Love it. All right, so I'm going to stop shuffling and just take these down. Ten of Cups. Wow. The Chariot. All right, so we are starting off really strong here. I'm so excited. I am a Gemini Sun and a Gemini Venus, for those of you that don't know. In the present, we have the Two of Wands. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, very beautiful partnership here with King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And in the near future, I have Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Tower. All right, we are definitely going to clarify that <laughs> and see what that's all about. Bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Pentacles. And right behind that, the Two of Swords. So definitely a decision having to be made here. Um, possibly in your present, because I have the Two of Wands here, Gemini. So in the recent past, I have the Lovers here, sign of you, Gemini. Um, I also have the Chariot, sign of Cancer. I have also cancer pisces scorpio here as well that you could possibly be dealing with but honestly that's not i just look more at the energies of the cards and what i see here is in the recent past there was some sort of movement here um some sort of victory when it comes to family feeling content feeling abundant um now again time is fluid so just keep that in mind that this could have already happened be currently happening or happen in the near future so just because i say recent past doesn't mean it really just happened but i'm seeing here that for that first row um there was definitely movement forward um change travel possibly as well someone could be living at a distance from you or um you could just be thinking about this person about moving forward with this person or vice versa I am going to clarify all of these, but I'm just telling you what I see right off the bat. I see a beautiful partnership here with Queen of Cups and King of Cups. These two um, 
are very in tune with their emotions. They're very compassionate, nurturing, giving. Um, the King of Cups especially, he's very emotionally mature. He's able to make decisions. Um, he considers his emotions, but they don't rule him. I feel like with the two of wands there, you see the potential of something. Possibly this connection. You're kind of looking out at the possibilities of something coming together here. Very interesting with the lovers and the queen of cups and king of cups. I cannot stop looking at those two, two cards kind of together here or three cards, I guess you should say. Because in the lovers, these two people are looking at each other. But down here with Queen of Cups and King of Cups, the way the cards came out, they're not looking at each other. Could be that you are in a connection with someone or thinking of someone that you aren't together with, which makes sense with this coming apart card, because if you look at this card as well, they're not looking at each other either. I feel like that there could have been a separation between you and someone that you really cared about here. We will care, clarify, but that's what I'm getting. Um, if there's not a separation, it's a connection where you don't see eye to eye with this person. You're not looking at each other. You're not focused on each other. In the near future here, I have someone walking away from a situation that I feel like they were fighting for at some point. Um, and there was a tower moment and now they're having to make a decision here, having to weigh the options here. So let's clarify these. Um, with Blessed here, the card, the Oracle card that came out, I feel like this tower moment is a blessing in disguise. Messages for Gemini spirit, please. Please help me clarify these messages for Gemini regarding their love life. And again, roles can be reversed. So um, I could be talking about you or the other person. That's why I'd like to use someone or the other person because it could be someone else. So let's get into it. Tell me about the lovers. Spare, what is the lovers? Okay. Wow, page of wands, queen of wands. I love this deck so much. Look how beautiful these cards are. I think this is going to be a new favorite of mine. Anyways, with Page of Cups, this could be someone coming to you with an, an apology. This could be someone taking that initial step to deliver a message of feelings. So someone could be, um, could be something as simple as admitting how they feel, um, saying they messed up, um, trying to talk to you. Um, with Queen of Wands, I feel like there is passion and action here. Um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. Um, and again, with the Page of Cups, we have a water sign as well. But this could also be someone younger um, offering a cup to someone older or vice versa. But what I'm thinking here is with the lovers, someone's going to come out with how they feel or share how they feel send a message out as a beginning um, to open up the conversation there could also be an apology like I said with page of wheels under the deck this is page of Pentacles again I'm getting that someone wants to approach someone else with a a small offer um to begin something new but with the page of wheels this is stability this offer could be you know asking someone out on a date for drinks but in their mind they're thinking i want to see this person a long time you know ace of wands right behind that so i definitely feel like this person is approaching you with an offer or vice versa um that's going to appear small at first but they're really thinking long term they're really thinking a new beginning here Tell me about this Ten of Cups. This could be a family unit. 
It could be um, just being really happy and fulfilled emotionally. Um, this is someone who has received or has everything that they wanted. Eight of Cups. Interesting. We have the Eight of Cups down here. Someone could have walked away from a family unit. Let's, I want another card. Tell me more about this. Okay. King of Wands. Interesting. Someone took action here regarding a, a family unit or a commitment here. I'm really getting this since they might have walked away from this because I have coming apart and I have Eight of Cups here. Queen of Wands or King of Wands and Queen of Wands. Another group of people here. I have two couples here. If this is resonating with you in the comments, let me know. I'm getting the sense that there's two couples here, two pairs here, possibly. Um, or it could be that someone um, is leaving a situation, a partnership, a family unit, and getting on this chariot to their Queen of Cups, King of Cups. I feel like this walking away is a tower moment or was because of a tower moment here. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. I kind of want to be able to see these cards a little bit better. So just bear with me. Maybe this person is deciding whether they should walk away or not. The Hermit under the deck could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Um, this person with the Hermit has withdrawn um, to really think about what they want to gain wisdom. Um, and in doing so, they listen to their inner voice here. Behind that, I have the Six of Wands. This person's thinking about how to win, how to be successful here. And it makes sense with the Chariot. They're thinking, how do I make this happen? How am I successful in this? Tell me about the Chariot. Spirit, tell me about this. Thank you. Two of Swords, Three of Swords. Very interesting energies. We did have the Two of Swords that was in the bottom of the deck here as well. This person is dealing with some sort of pain um, that is causing them to be unable to make a decision. They've been through maybe recent betrayal. They've been hurt in now or in the past. Um, This could also be a third party situation with the three of swords here and the two couples that I see on the table doesn't have to be, but I'm mentioning it because I'm thinking about it. But this person, um, I feel like they have to make a decision here with the two of swords that will hurt someone. Or they've been through something very painful and now they're getting on this chariot. So that's why coming apart makes sense there. Um, again, this could be you, Gemini, or the other person. Bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Wands. There could have been some struggle, conflict that caused this person to be heartbroken or just was a painful realization for them, a painful situation here with the Five of Wands. Um, there could have been competition as well. Um, I'm thinking, I just heard competition of wills. Tell me about the two of wands. Yeah. We have the tower and the three of wands. This person had a tower moment here. Or is going through a tower moment is what I'm getting. Um... This person's waiting for this to blow over is what I'm getting. They're waiting for this tower moment to pass. Um, I feel like this tower moment has opened possibilities for them with the three of wands, two of wands. They're going to send that message out with the page of cups and wait for a response. I feel like this tower moment, again, is a blessing in disguise here. Five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Again. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. This person could be listening to their intuition 
I feel like their intuition is guiding them here. Knight of Wands, yeah. They're taking action on this Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. They're going after their person, I feel, is what I'm getting here. The person, I feel. And this could be um, this could be a friend as well. Someone that they can rely on, I feel, emotionally. Let's see what we have. We have the Chariot again. With the Knight of Wands, this person wants, again, victory, success. Page of Swords and Five of Wands again. I feel like this person, while they've been going through this struggle, they've been watching you, they've been researching. Um, they're very curious about this Queen of Cups energy. For others of you, this person rushing in here, this vic this going after what they want here with the Queen of Cups, I feel like it's gonna cause conflict. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Cups again. Tell me about this King of Cups. This one wanted to flip over. The Emperor. Yeah, this person's listening to their intuition here to take matters into their own hands. Could be an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart. Um, but what I'm getting is this person has regained their confidence, um, are, you know, be more decisive here with the two of pentacles. Tell me more about this king of cups. That's way too many, but seven of wands came out, which we have down here. Tell me more about this king of cups, please spirit. What is this king of cups? Thank you. Yeah. Three of cups. I really feel like this person wants to reunite with someone that they there was a coming apart here in the past. And now this person's thinking about a reunion of some sort with Three of Cups. For some of you, this is a third party situation here. I have Eight of Wands here. This is all about um, communication and movement. So with the Eight of Wands, um, again, I feel like this person wants victory. This, this, in this deck, the eight of wands, there has a person in it who's holding like a, one of the wands in the air. Almost like I win. <laughs> this person wants to communicate and they want a response back is what I'm getting here. They want to move this forward with the chariot, which came out twice and the, um, the eight of wands. I have strength under the deck. I feel like with the emperor and strength, I'm getting this person has a renewed courage, a renewed, they're becoming strong and taking charge of their life. Maybe this person was not in charge of their life for some reason. Um, and now it's like they have the strength, the courage to move on to what they feel is their success or victory their ten of cups um behind that i have the queen of pentacles could be dealing with a leo here with the strength card but really i'm not getting that i'm getting this person is thinking about commitment here with the emperor as well i feel like this person this king of cups could have been a um parental figure they could have children they could be married um because emperor does have a wife um they're the power couple um and the fact that there is a eight of cups with a family unit there this person could have a family doesn't have to be that's only for some of you but i'm pointing it out because i see it so let's look at this seven of wands down here tell me more okay High Priestess, interesting. Again, with the intuition. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands, Spirit. With the High Priestess, um, I'm thinking no communication here with something not being communicated, something unknown. Tell me more, please, about the Seven of Wands. Strength card again. I feel like this person needs courage to speak. 
I feel like they've they've been probably defensive or protecting themselves for a long time here with the seven of wands. This tower moment um, possibly revealed some secret, something unsaid, something like that. Um, it's given this person courage to make contact, to go after what they want to handle the situation. Bottom of the deck, I have the three of wheels, the three of pentacles. Again, third party situation I'm getting here. For others of you, this person wants to rebuild their life is what I'm getting. They're thinking about their finances. They're thinking about foundation, building a foundation, building something with this person here. I feel like this person is probably not telling people that they want to fight for, for this, that they that they are planning this. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This person wants to communicate. I'm getting this person really needs to share this with someone. I feel like they haven't been able to share this with someone. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Yeah, King of Swords. This person's cutting out a situation here. Tell me about the King of Cups. They've had probably clarity based on um, information or truth that has been possibly revealed here or spoken like truth that they got to the bottom of here with the king of swords this person king of swords is very opposite energy to king of cups he does not use his emotions to make decisions he's very rational and clear-headed um he thinks things through and in, uh intuitively too but it, um he's more able to make decisions that are a little bit tougher He's also um, emotionally distant. That's why I'm saying that he's very, um, almost the opposing energy of the King of Cups. Ace of Wands, yeah. Ace of Wands coming out again. This person, this King of Swords energy is walking away from something towards this new beginning. Queen of Swords under the deck, interesting. Again, with the King of Swords, this could, this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you as well, Gemini. Um, I feel like here we have another partnership. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. I feel like this person in their mind is thinking, I need to go after my partner. I need to go after the person that completes me, that mirrors me. That's why I have the Queen of Wands, King of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and now King of Swords, Queen of Swords. We did have the Queen of Pentacles that also came out at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this tower. What's this tower about? What happened with this tower? This is something that, okay, Nine of Wands. Whatever this tower was, this person really took a hit here. Nine of Wands, they again, protection mode with Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands here. There's the Empress. Um, this tower moment could have been with a wife or mother figure. It doesn't have to be. But again, we had the Emperor and the Empress here. They are a power couple. Tell me more about this tower. What's this tower doing here, Spirit? This was something that this person... Um... um I feel like this tower moment, this person had to be very strong to deal with whatever fallout this was. Just gonna take these even though they did not flip over. I think this is right. So I have here Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Devil. Okay, so this tower I feel with the nine of wands as well. Wow, and the devil. I feel like this was an unhealthy attachment here with the devil. Could have been a Capricorn they were dealing with. Um, this person had some sort of, they were trapped, I feel, um, stuck in this toxic environment here. There was lying, sneaking around, possibly things going on behind the scenes here with the Seven of Swords. 
But again, I feel like this tower is bringing about the chance for this Knight of Cups. The Romeo of the deck. So let's look finally at this Two of Pentacles. Under the deck, we have the Hierophant. This really could have been a bro uh, coming apart of a marriage or a really a long-term commitment here for you or this other person. It could be a Taurus. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Thank you. Six of Swords. This person is debating whether to stay or go or how to go about leaving this situation. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. I don't want it to come out. Yeah, Four of Wands. This person could be thinking about leaving a family unit or they want to move towards this Four of Wands. Stability and love here. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Wheels. This person's patiently waiting, looking at the past as well, wondering if they chose the wrong person, the wrong situation, what went wrong. Um, wondering if something will happen, if they will be victorious as well as what I'm getting. Thank you so much for checking in on this video, Gemini. I hope that this resonated with some of you. If it did not resonate with you, then please check out your other signs. Leave me a comment if you are um, in this situation and can explain a little bit more about all of these people on this table. Um, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.